Hello, welcome to Board Games with Niramas. Today it's time for an unboxing of the expansion that was just released for the game Mystic Veil. Now, this game is published by AEG and is designed by John D. Clare. It's a uh, card crafting game, so it's a card game, but it has a special feature of crafting the cards and sort of improving them as you play. So, uh, we'll take a look at what's in the box of this expansion. And uh, uh, there was one expansion that came out uh, last year that was uh, just added a few more cards but didn't change anything. So let's see if this one does the same or if there's new stuff in here. So we have the manual here and we have a bunch of cards. So let's see what they are. And it seems like, yeah, there's just a bunch of cards but we'll see what they are and what they do. So first of all we have a bunch of level 1 cards, these are a bit sticky, uh, so um, this one, this one sort of gives you points if you spoil and then you get another turn, so that's interesting, uh, because if you spoil is when you get uh, too many of these uh, corruption symbols, but here you will actually gain points from that, that's interesting. And uh, this one's a really good mana card, but it also gives you the corruption symbol. And let's see if I can get some. Uh, here we have. Alright, so this is sort of one of these collecting the guardian symbol, the helmet there, and then you will get the sun symbol to purchase with. Uh, here we have some. Oh, this is interesting. This is an end game effect, so if you have the most corruption in your deck you gain six points that's interesting so it's all sort of like giving you something for having yeah that's interesting maybe it's a theme here this looks quite normal mm. this one is also interesting you get mana per card less than seven cards in your field so here you want to have here you want to have as few cards as possible huh and this one is uh, have an uh, effect like this while on deck you cannot spoil that's really interesting so it sort of protects you here you have two of these uh, green trees which are sort of uh, the opposite of the uh, corruption symbol they will save you uh, sort of um, let's see here so uh, let's say you have one of these and then you're in your card because you can have three effects in one card, right? So in your card you could also have something that tells you that on this in this card you don't count the corruption, which means you would have two um whatever it's called, I've forgotten, but it sort of saves you from the corruption. And oh this is so hard to they are so sort of sticking together. Um Okay, so here we have some Beast Brother Hunter. In one point per card less than seven cards. So you have the same effect of having few cards. And also like how you get something for having the bad cards basically. So that's interesting. And they sort of twisted that mechanic a bit. And here you can have if you have this one, then all the symbols for purchasing the veil cards are turned into wilds. That's really good as well. Oh yeah, here's one of these cancel all. Uh, corruption on this card so you can combine these into interesting combinations and let's see here let's look at one more primal power it's where it gives you two points but has a corruption symbol uh, while on deck if you spoil gain four points and take another turn yeah, so it's, it's sort of like the the twister rounds so it's not just bad to spoil it's not just bad to have the corruption cards then we have the veil cards here this is something new that I don't know what it is, but the Veil Cards. Here we have, in the Harvest you may discard this card to gain one. Oh, you can discard the card to get one mana. It only costs one wolf uh, symbol though, and I mean, in some cases you just need that one more mana, then it could be good. If you were to spoil, you may discard this card to discard your own deck card. Okay, that's kind of good, you can stop the spoilage. Here you have... There's two points, but they're all wilds there, so it's kind of easier to buy it. 
you may unsleep one advance on a card in your field and re-sleep it on a different this is really good you can sort of uh, change a card from one sleeve to another and you may discard this card to choose a card in your field do not discard that card this turn instead leave it in play as the first card that's kind of good as well and you may discard this card to use okay you can convert the symbols into wild so yeah kind of nice and uh, let's take a look at the second part here here's an interesting one as well in the same uh, theme as the other cards here if you at the end of the game have the most corruption symbols you gain seven points so you could uh, sort of focus on getting these and getting a lot of corruption oh look at this throne room 12 points that's a lot but look at the cost i mean this is not something that's going to be be purchased very often in the game at all. Mm, some point cards. Uh, if you were to spoil, you may discard this card to cancel all corruption on your own deck card. Okay, yeah. So it's sort of uh, some interesting new things here. And also, we have these new cards here that I have no idea what they are, but they, they look like characters. Look like characters, so that's a really neat concept if they are characters. Let's check this a little quick here to see what they call them. Yeah, leader cards, right? Yeah, so it's leader cards. Okay, that's really cool. Uh, I like that because uh, you can upgrade your leader as well. Huh. So basically, you start with one of these leaders, but you can upgrade it. Um, yeah, so this is the first, this is how you start. Uh, the Wanderer, you obviously have a mana and a uh, leaf symbol, then you can upgrade and then you have more stuff here. So interesting, and some of them have uh, text as well with different abilities, so that's a cool concept. That's something that really adds to this game, I think. I, I look forward to playing this and trying that out, because that could really be a game changer in some ways. And I like that in, in all games basically, where everybody has a different leader or a faction and you have a certain ability that the others don't have and so on. So that was a, a quick unboxing of the expansion for Mystic Whale, Whale of the Wild. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you leave a comment or a like, if you hit the like button, I really appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe so you can support the channel and you also will get updates from YouTube when I post new videos. So thank you very much for watching. If you want to see my run through for Mystic Veil, vale, you can click the eye up here, go straight to it and see how the game works, if this might be interesting for you. So thank you for watching. Have a great evening or morning or whenever you're watching. Take care. Bye bye.